10 is though, Keo. You know, I did pick the Suns in that series, and I was wrong. Yeah, uh, you did. I did, I did, for sure. But you see, you're saying because they added Bradley Bill. There's no doubt. It's not about Bradley Bill for me. What I saw in that series from DeAndre Ayton, it's not enough. If he if he elevates his role and he plays better, then you may be right. But what I saw, hell no. I'm not picking the Suns. If I, I'm going to be honest with you. DeAndre Ayton's lucky I'm not the GM of the Suns because he would have been traded. Uh, there's no way I'm, I'm, I'm keeping you after what I saw in that series. The way oh, yeah. Booker and Durant was efficient the way they were, and they, you know, in order for them to win those games, they, they have to have to experience story games. Aiden, you got to be better than that. You were the number one overall pick. Like, that's unacceptable in my mind. Yeah, I understand Chris Paul was out, and you play better with Chris Paul. I get all that. But at the end of the day, like, man, I just, I was very disappointed, DeAndre Aiden. Now, he was one of the reasons why I picked them last year, along with KD and Devin Booker, to beat the Nuggets, and he did not show up. Lindell played better than him in my mind. You see? Here's my question to you, X, before we go. <laughs> before we go on. You trade Aiden for who? I, I, if I go get a point guard. I, I, I go get a point guard that I can try to that I can try to make something happen or, or some add depth. But I'm getting that contract off the books yeah. because, to me, He's not worth the salary that, that you're paying him. Wow. Y'all can, y'all can say I ask you wildin'. You he got wildin' big, right now. He, he, got, he got that big contract. <clears throat> Excuse me. He got that big contract. But me, like, um, I'm, a, I'm just throwing, like, this is very just on the point because you just asked me. I wasn't thinking about it. But, like, if I can add, like, an OG, a newbie, and somebody else from Toronto that I might like, um, I, I, I would I would definitely consider that to have some actual extra bench help, uh, but I'm not rocking with Aiden bro, at all, bro. I would actually try to straighten my numbers as far as my bench play is concerned because there's no way I'm I'm gonna rely on DeAndre Aiden unless if he plays up to his potential, maybe maybe I'll feel different. But I I was very disappointed in him last year. You see, yeah. this, this is the this is the problem with people nowadays, man. <laughs> this is the the major problem with people nowadays. I kind of, I kind of compare myself to DeAndre Ayton, actually, as a matter of fact, because oh, God. <laughs> you you do they you do great things for the company and organization, but when you make one small minor mistake, which is a huge mistake. You just they did they they would they just want to exile you and, and cancel you right away. I mean, this past season, DeAndre Aiden might have had his, his best season from points, rebounds, minutes, all of that, man. Uh, averaging 18 and 10, pretty impressive. We go into the Nugget series, and then people just start scrutinizing him and, and blaming him for everything. He's still a young player at the end of the day, man. You just you got to look at the positive things that Aiden has done for this franchise. The short time that he's been been with this with the Phoenix Suns team, you can't just take this guy out. Let him learn, man. Let him learn his lessons. Let him realize what what happened in this series. Look at the game tapes, man, so he can fix these problems and issues and actually adjust these issues when the moment comes next season. Hey, Come on hey, now, man. Hey, I'll say this. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. And I, I, you know, I want him to learn. But what you I said. saw, but what I saw, would be just he would have to go, bro. He <laughs> would have to go. In my mind, he's gone, man. I'm not yeah. thinking twice about it. I'm telling you, I just you put, you I put feel in like, all that work, you, and then they well, look, you just let me say this. Ass out. Let me say this. And and DeAndre Aiden, you're welcome to come on the show anytime if he does see this. I want you to understand. Watching DeAndre Ayton last year, I don't know how y'all felt about it, but this is the way I felt. I felt like he gave up versus Jokic. I really do. Jokic and that's, why, that's where I have the issue. Okay, Jokic going to get his. We understand that. He No, he's a two-time. We understand that. But when you look like you just give it up, I have a problem with, with that. Y'all were 2-2. Two, two. It was a 2-2 two, two series. And you gave up. I swear, I feel like Lindell played better. I'm just being honest. If he fought, then I would say, you know what? Let him let him let him learn his lesson and 
next year come back better. But I feel like he gave up. I could be completely wrong. Maybe I was because I picked Phoenix to win. But when I saw him on to us, he didn't even play um, the last game. What? What? You didn't, you didn't even play in game six? Unacceptable. Bro, Jokic should be, still be in jail for what he did. Right there, man. <laughs> he should be in jail yeah, for what man, he did. We, we can't. We, we, I, I can't. I can't. I can't just discredit what this guy has done, especially a guy that's very young right now. And he's uh, young, no doubt about it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna violate and disrespect him like you just did right now. So that's that's unacceptable. <laughs> oh, wow, I'm sorry. wow. I'm, sorry. Yeah, I'm, not gonna I'm not gonna do that, man. I got, I got, I got. I, I shout out to DeAndre Aiden, though, man. Shout out All to of him, a sudden, man. you want to give a shout out to him? Then you just <laughs> just lay the smack down on him, man. But uh, let's go. He's to going to get the signing contract. <laughs> hey, right, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. See. Anyways, man, we're going to our.